I'd like to welcome to the stage Nupur Anani to show you something we used to call Project Wingman. Nupur. Thanks for that warm welcome, Graham. Of course. I am so excited to show Autopilot in action today. Now, for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to be playing a persona. I'll be the partnerships director at Desk Experience. So, as the partnerships director, I'm frequently onboarding new vendors into our different systems. They usually fill out this information on a paper form, it's a vendor information form, and then I enter that data into Salesforce and NetSuite before I eventually tell my team on Slack. <laughs> it takes me about four to five minutes. Now, in that same amount of time, Autopilot is going to help me generate an automation for the end-to-end -end process. We'll start with digitizing the form. Now, Autopilot for apps supports the generation of apps based off of screenshots of legacy systems, text prompts, and PDFs like this one that we just saw using UiPath document understanding. Autopilot is also going to help me by generating some entities and data service to help me store those submissions and the data from them. Now, we can see that the form has generated, and we can see the submission for the data entity in data service. But to truly transform this business process, I want to connect this to an automation. So I'm going to ask Autopilot to help me generate an automation. I might ask it to generate a description with OpenAI, create that new account in Salesforce, and notify my team even for me on Slack. So what's happening behind the scenes here, Nipper? So here, Autopilot for Studio is using a combination of our connections to Salesforce and Slack from integration service and activities from Studio to generate the automation workflow. Once it's generated, I'm going to have the opportunity to review the workflow and even change the prompt if I'd like. Now, Studio Web is already making automating for developers very easy, but Autopilot is truly making it faster and easier than ever. That's amazing. Oh, there it is. So now that I've got this workflow, let's move it into Studio here. As I move it into Studio, I'm going to see my activities populate, pre-configured with those exact connections we talked about. But I forgot one piece of the process. I usually onboard the vendor into NetSuite before I send that message in Slack. So let's use UI automation to do this. I'll go ahead and add that use browser activity for UI automation. And then generally the next step is to indicate exactly where I want activities for that UI automation, whether it's selectors or whatnot. So I'll provide the tab as well. And this is particularly helpful, right, because I take quite a bit of time usually to identify those activities and selectors to interact with. I'll try again here. And then I'll actually provide Autopilot with that prompt. So okay. it's as simple as telling it exactly what I do, which is add a new vendor. Once I click Generate Activities, it's going to go over and start to look at the different pieces of this automation to really identify where to interact. Where are you doing this, or is it doing it by itself? Well, Autopilot's doing it for me. So not only is Autopilot identifying the activities and selectors for me, but it's using UiPath best practices to do this. Now, this is particularly important for me because I want to make sure that these selectors are robust enough that they can withstand any of the different changes in that application. I remember that taking me a long time when I first did it. Exactly. So we can see that Autopilot found those activities for me, and we can see that it has going to basically take those activities, all those selectors, put them back into Studio for me. Now there's one last piece to this, and kind of a finishing touch for this flow. Usually what I like to do is really make sure that all of the web addresses that my vendors input are secure, just so that we don't have any issues going into NetSuite as we onboard this information. To make sure that the automation can account for this, I'm going to create an argument. I'll call it 
web address. And then usually I would find myself on Google or Stack Overflow to figure out what the expression looks like, but I'm actually going to ask Autopilot to generate it for me. So it's going to be as simple as make sure that that web address argument has HTTPS. I remember taking so much time with my big O'Reilly book sitting next to me doing this. Exactly. Especially for those of us that are new with automation and potentially new with programming, creating expressions can be really overwhelming. Right. So to be able to do this with just a click and a type is really helpful. Wow. Now, in the time that it took me to onboard one manual vendor, I was able to create an automation for the end-to-end -end process and really free myself from ever having to do this data entry manually again. It's really AI at work. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Newberg. Thank you.